Hey guys, this is Muhammad Shamir and I'm back with another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can update existing record from your NS Access database using Java. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys. Now what does updating mean? For example, you have a social media account on any social media app and now you want to change its password and want to update its old password cause it's leaked or hacked or something else. So, so you will change this, that old password with a new password and that's called updating. So now I will teach you how you can do it. So, for, so first we will make a JPN form. Uh, okay, so we will make a JPN form. And we'll name it update form. Okay. So now we have a form. Here I will add two labels. Sorry, three labels. Label one, label two, label three. And now three text fields. I will take text field for password because many of you get confused if I take password fields so you can take password field but i will take text field okay so this is my user this is my password old password okay and this will be a new password uh, but i don't think so we need a old password right now so let's delete it Okay, so we have a user. Now we we need a button. We can be said update button. Okay. So let's arrange it. So now it will look like this. Okay. So now we will code inside the button function. Let's make a string variable. Two string variables: string, uh, pass, and user. Okay. Now we will take inputs from our text field into these variables equal to uh, this variable name to user. And to end pass. Okay. Now we will take a user a user equal to user dot get text. We will use get text function to take. Uh, oh shit! We have to change variables with the same name. So I have changed the name of our String variable. Now we will do same with the pass. Pass equal to pass. Uh, sorry, end pass. The name of our text field dot get text. So get text. Okay. So now we have taken two inputs. Now let's go to our connection to DB class and make a function for update public wide search. Okay, and make two string variables for that user string pass. Okay, now let's make a try and catch block inside it. Try catch exception. This is used for catching the exceptions if our program stores any. Let's print the exception on the screen so it will be very helpful for us to know that what is that problem. So now we will make uh, the connection. Connection is a built-in class as you all know with the new connection function we which we had made above if you have watched the last videos of this playlist. Okay. So we have made a connection to our database. Now we will use a statement. In this tutorial, we will use prepared statement because it is used to execute the queries with parameter. That means it is used to execute parameterized queries. So we will use prepared statement. Prepared statement 
ps equal to con dot uh, prepare statement okay now inside this we will write our query update the name of our table i will i have my name is table 2 the name of my table is table 2 I will, now write set and the name of the text will uh, sorry the field name from our database which we want to uh, update so i want to update password okay so i will give it password here password and where it should be the username and Password password equal to make a question mark there. Okay. Same a question mark here too. So we have typed the query. Now press a semicolon there. Now we have to execute the query. So ps dot. Uh, sorry. But before executing, we have to use the set string function to set the user defined string. I mean the new updated password. So for that we use set string function. So it has two uh, parameters. In the first parameter we will give the index. That which parameter is it? So I will give it index one. And in the second second parameter we will give the string value. So what is our string value? It is pass. Okay. So our first parameter index is password. So we have write first and the value is pass, which would be user defined. Okay. So ps dot set string now for the second parameter here username so I will write the index number two and write user which will be okay now let's execute it um, execute update execute update okay so we will execute it and now we will close it okay so now uh, it is giving an error on pass because we have capital P now there is no error okay now let's go to our update form and make an object of connecting to DB class uh, new connecting to DB okay now let's call the update function update it's not showing as the update or oh, shit because we have made a search instead of update let's make it update okay so update and the two parameters we for the first parameter we need user and for the second parameter we need pass so let's uh, compile it and see is it working is it updating our password or not so now let's open our uh, database and see that what is our passwords if you haven't watched the last video of this playlist so the username sherry123 has password shamir and jerry123 has password hamza let's see that is it updating or not okay so let's run it first clean and build it and run it so here is the file i will give first sherry123 and the new password um, I want to make it download okay so let's click on update now let, we will go to our database first uh, I will close it and open it again so now you can see that the password is updated now let's do same for the second one jerry123 so that Jerry one two three. J should be capital. Okay. And we will new password should be same. Now let's go to our access database. 
and here you can see that the password for jerry123 is also updated so i hope you guys understand it so if you are very curious you can email me and please 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 like subscribe and comment thank you so much and take care